guys welcome to my channel i'm bianca janelle i make videos on a lifestyle i do makeup tutorials hair tutorials skincare reviews anything beauty related i probably film it if that sounds good to you guys i have subscribed down to my channel i upload videos every tuesday and thursday and today's video is the first holiday makeup look of the season as you can see changed up my backdrop i got excited for the holidays so i wanted to create this look for you guys I think it's really soft and pretty and feminine I love it of course because I did it so if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep watching okay guys we are back to filming right here I have not filmed here in a very long time I think I haven't filmed here since before my trip so I've already been back for um, almost been back for a month so that means I have not filmed in this area in a while so I'm actually super excited to be filming today as you can see I changed up my setup because it is the holiday so I think that's why I'm super excited to film I always feel like I get really creative during the holidays I think just because I'm so excited and happy <laughs> like it gives me a lot of inspiration to film so of course I thought that today we would do our first holiday makeup look I always love filming these Whenever it's like the spring and summer you guys already know I always do my natural look my glowy look and once it becomes fall and winter I just get more excited about makeup just because I feel like I get a little bit more dressed up in some sense so then I can like have more fun with my makeup I don't know like I said I just always feel more inspired during this time so I'm actually really excited to be creating a makeup look today I did get the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette so it is I don't want to blind you guys it's the one with all the rose gold tones I have been using this non-stop this is my go-to palette recently for going out for just having fun I just feel like you can create a lot of different looks with this palette so I'm definitely gonna be using it for the holiday one today so the first thing we're gonna do is obviously skin prep this is super crucial I think especially because during the winter my skin feels dry so I definitely want to keep it very moisturized because we will be applying just a little bit more makeup on the face I feel like so I'm just gonna first ice roll my face when this comes out which will be this week it'll be Thanksgiving next week which I am I'm actually excited for it's funny I'm like as soon as October, no as soon as November 1st hits I'm all about Christmas I am in like Christmas mode I don't have like a transition to Thanksgiving but like Thanksgiving day I am excited for I do love Thanksgiving day especially just because I'm with the family all day so that is like my one little break from the Christmas like spirit <laughs> but the rest of the time I'm in full Christmas spirit it is what's today today is November today is November 13th so this will come out on November 15th so yeah I actually this weekend I finally put up like my Christmas decorations obviously in here and in the house and I just love it like it just feels so cozy I honestly would have done it November 1st um but I actually went out of town and then my boyfriend went on a camping trip so I was like ha when he's gone I am going to decorate the house because <laughs> he's such a scrooge like he doesn't believe in decorating the house until the day after Thanksgiving and I'm like no then that means I have like barely any time to enjoy Christmas like no <laughs> um for underneath my eyes I put the Ulay Hendrickson banana bright eye cream brightens up eyes right away then for my CC serum I'm gonna go with Dr. Dennis Gross vitamin C serum so yeah so he he's like such a scrooge he doesn't like me to decorate until the day after Thanksgiving but that never happens. I always decorate in the beginning of November. I mean, especially one for work. I mean, you kind of have to. But two, it's because I love it. I would I would be doing it anyway. So he just has to deal. And so when he came home and I was like, don't you like it? And he's like, yes. So I already knew that he would. <laughs> so in the comments down below, tell me, are you like me? Do you like to decorate as soon as Halloween is over? Or do you wait? We are waiting for the Christmas tree. I will... I think we'll be getting the Christmas tree like the, the weekend of Thanksgiving um, just because we get a fresh tree so I feel like it lasts longer and it's more greener obviously like the closer to Christmas so I don't like to get that in the beginning of November so that will be like our last Christmas thing to have to buy and then I actually have not gone 
like Christmas decor shopping on purpose. I wanted to get like everything out and just see what I had and then now I'm like okay maybe I can go buy some stuff. The next thing I'm going to do is take the Osea Day Glow Face Oil. I love this stuff. Now don't be scared. I know it says that it's a face oil and it's going to look intense. Right now I'm going to look really glowy which I mean I like but I know it does look intense right now. But as soon as I start layering makeup on top of this, it just blends beautifully into the skin. So I'm going to apply this all over. The reason why I like this facial oil is because it gives me like a natural highlight. I actually have not been reaching for a highlight recently because as soon as I apply the makeup on top of this oil, natural highlight like comes out on my face, like especially right here, like you can see it. So... That's why I just haven't been really reaching for the highlight. Like for right here, I still like highlight my underneath like my brow bone and stuff. But for my face highlight, I have not been reaching for it at all. Next, we are going to do brows. I'm going to take the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil and then outline my brows. Okay, eyebrows are done. Normally, I actually do my eyes first here when I'm filming. But I'm actually going to do my face first. I am going to be taking the Say lip tint so sometimes in the winter I do actually go reach for a foundation but honestly I still love this skin tint and once I build it up with this concealer and powder I end up kind of having a full coverage look anyways um so I'm gonna be going in with this and I feel like it's still hydrating on my face so that is why I do like this And normally, I actually blend this out with a sponge. And so then it actually kind of shears it out. That's actually what I like to do during the summer, um, summertime, just so I don't have like a heavy-duty look. But I actually used the Merit, Foundations, uh, the Merit Foundation Brush, and I actually really enjoyed this. I actually just did this yesterday when I went out because my sponge is were dirty so I didn't have a clean sponge so I reached for this brush and I actually really like the way that it applied with this brush because it did give me a little bit more coverage so I'm just gonna be taking this and kind of just stamping it into the face I am so excited for the holidays like I said I feel like there's just so many things to do and especially like in San Diego we start to have like a lot more like events to go to and whatnot and there's always just a lot more like activities and so I'm like starting to kind of like gear up to like for content and whatnot so I want to know in the comments down below what are you guys most excited for I think the first thing the first Christmassy thing that we're going to do is obviously go get a tree but then after that San Diego has like a little Christmas market at Petco Park which is where our baseball team plays at so I think that's going to be like the official first Christmas thing. So I'm getting excited for all of that. Okay, then once everything is blended out, I'm going to take my concealer. I'm literally running out of this. It's the Say, it's the Say Concealer. I need to go pick up some more. This stuff is so good. I'm breaking out, so that's why you see me applying it like everywhere. I'm breaking out so bad on my chin. I think it's because my lady bill is coming. And it's just like, I've never had this much on my chin. I, I was like, this is kind of weird. But it might be from the drinking too. We went out drinking last night. So that's where I feel like this came from. Because <laughs> I did not have that yesterday. But as you see, everything just blends out so nicely okay my skin looks really healthy and glowy I again even though it is winter time I still like to look glowy and sun-kissed that's just what I love so I'm still gonna always be going for that type of look next we're gonna go in with some bronzer I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer this is in the shade medium I love this bronzer right here as you can see I've had this in summer and I'm barely putting a dent into this it is worth every penny I actually was asked to do some friends makeup yesterday a friend and her daughter and I used that bronzer on them and they loved it they were like wow my skin is glowing they were 
really attracted to this bronzer like i think that it made like the world difference like in their skin and so they said they were, they were gonna buy it that's how i was like it's so good you can see it gives a lot of coverage and a lot of color to the face and then to set the face i'm gonna take my charlotte tilbury pressed powder forgot how much i love this one This sun is like peeking through the window, of course. So let me try to cover that. Okay, much better. That, of course, like the one little hole that's there in the window coverings, that's where the light wanted to come through. So, okay, we are good. I'm sorry if that was distracting. I know it finally caught my attention, so we got it handled. Next, let's go ahead and go in with our powdered bronzer. Our powdered bronzer, I'm actually going to go in with the Kylie. Um, it's in the shade. Hmm. I think it's called toast it's already coming off i forgot about this bronzer and i found it oh no ah okay good <laughs> um i found it yesterday and i forgot how much i loved it so i'm gonna go in with this to go ahead and set the face okay the face is warmed up and glowy i love it i'm not gonna apply blush yet i'm gonna do my eyes first and then we'll go in with blush last to tie everything together so let's get into the exciting part so i will warn you with this palette it is pigmented you don't need a lot so the first thing i'm going to go in with the second lightest color right here first and i'm going to put this in my crease i'm going to show you that's barely anything and it's a lot of product but it's really easy to blend out which is what i really like you just apply light pressure and just keep blending it out okay so we have a good crease going on so then next i'm going to take i'm going to go a little bit deeper and i'm going to take this shade right here and i'm going to kind of focus this more on the outer corner and i'm going to just build it back in this is just to start giving my eye a little bit of shape and dimension. But as you can see, everything just blends like seamlessly. It's so nice. This has definitely been one of my go-to looks while I go out. It's just like I know everything works together. I can pull it together quickly because these shadows blend so nicely. So I kind of just know how to manipulate them and I can literally get this look done really quickly. But when you're first starting, just again, just keep blending away. So you can see the eye is starting to get a little bit deeper. So now I'm going to take the darkest shade right here. And keep this just on the outer. And I love that these are more like a rose gold. I was going back and forth between this palette and his first one, which I, I really love. And I'm probably going to now go pick it up. Um, but I wanted something a little bit different for the holidays, especially because I'm always playing with neutrals. But this, I was going to say, is that it is a rose gold palette and it's still so neutral. I feel like it goes with everything and that's what I actually really have been enjoying about it. So I've actually just been having a lot of fun, but I already know myself. I'm definitely going to have to pick up the first one. And the first one is always sold out, I feel like. So just try to make sure you get them as even as you can um okay we are good so far so now i am gonna go ahead and start playing with the metallics so one thing that i have not played with and i think i'm gonna play with it in this video and alette actually comes with two cream shadows i don't really play around with cream shadows just because my eyelids always get so oily and they kind of intimidate me but i feel like I feel like his formulation wouldn't do that. And just to be honest, I have not played with it because I've always gone out when I'm using this palette. So I don't want a chance messing anything up, just to be honest. So I have not played with it yet, but for this video, I say let's play with it. So I'm actually going to grab the lighter shade. And I'm going to basically, ooh, it's pigmented. Okay. I'm basically going to paint it on my lid and I'm going to kind of carve out the shape that I want with it. Whoa. 
This was really pigmented. I actually probably grabbed a little bit too much. But I feel like it created a good, like, base. Okay. As you can see, it's very pigmented. So now, I always, you guys already know, I love grabbing it with my finger. I'm going to, hmm, this is the hard part because I love all of these shades. I'm going to actually go in with the lighter shade right here. So the second to lightest metallic shade. I'm going to go in with my finger. And I'm going to press it on. And what I like about the cream so far is that it grabs onto this pigment very nicely. The pigment does apply really nicely even without the cream shadow base. But this kind of makes it stick to the eye a little bit better, which I, I like. So as you can see, they're so pigmented. I love this sparkle. Again, it makes it perfect for the holidays and for all the holiday parties. I really like this. And it's actually not too intense where I feel like this shade specifically, I could I could probably wear it during the day if I just wanted to play with my makeup a little bit more. So that's what I find like really stunning about it. And actually right now this trend is going around. It's, I think it's called like cold girl makeup so you kind of look cold so I actually feel like this would be the perfect shadow to create that look with uh, I might have to do that look just because it looks really fun um but this is what we have so far I really like it now I'm just gonna go back in and start kind of deepening up the corners again okay I really am loving this look so far it's still very feminine and pretty yet very holiday approach appropriate i'm gonna leave it alone right now i feel like i need to deepen it up a little bit more i will but i don't think so i want to add lashes and kind of see what that does so i'm gonna go in and curl my lashes to get them prepped okay so my lashes are prepped now i'm gonna go in with my individual lashes i forgot where these are from i think they're ardell Oof. I honestly don't remember. I got them off of Amazon. They might, they're either Kiss or Adele because that's usually what I grab. I just don't remember. So I'm going to apply these off camera and then we'll come back. Okay. So lashes are on. We're going to let these just kind of sit and dry a bit. So now let's go ahead and move back to brows. We're going to just set them into place. I'm using the Merit pomade and this is what I like to set my brows into place with. And then I'm going to grab my highlight. I like using the ColourPop Light Stick. This is in the shade Bullseye. It's this really pretty like champagne color. And I'm going to use this to highlight underneath my brow bone. I feel like this pairs really nicely with the rose gold. Then I'm going to highlight the inner corner of our eyes. The bridge of my nose and the tip right there. I always think it's really cute on the tip. And then I like to apply it on my cupid's bow. So as you see, as the makeup starts to melt more into the face, the natural glow from that face oil starts to peek through, which is exactly why I don't like putting highlight anymore, just because I already have that glow going on and it's natural, so I think it looks like the most pretty. Now let's go and do our under eyes. So I'm going to go back in with the palette, and again, we're going to just kind of start building up the under eye. So first, I'm going to be taking that second lightest shade and just applying this underneath. I'm going to go in with the second darkest shade. And I'm going to keep this closer to the lash line. Kind of going to like be stamping it in. And once that product is placed there, then I'll kind of go back out and blend it out because we don't want any harsh lines. Then I'm going to grab that metallic shade that we use on our lid, which is the second lightest shade. And I'm going to just kind of disperse it amongst the lash line, kind of making it a little messy because it is metallic-y and shimmery. I'm just going to kind of disperse it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Love it. Next, let's go ahead and do our liner. You guys already know I'm a big fan of brown liner now especially with this look being so feminine and 
light i wouldn't myself i wouldn't go in with a black liner but you can if you want i am using the billion dollar brows in the shade taupe it's a brow pencil well no a brow pen but i actually like using it as a liner i find it like the perfect shade of brown so i'm going to use this as my liner and i'm just going to line my lash line as you can see it just deepens up the lash line i'm trying not even to create like a larger line i really want it to still look natural So it's all, okay so it's all starting to pull together so now let's go ahead and add in our blush I'm going to take the Merit Cheeky it's a cheek color I love it I think it goes perfect with the shadow and then to set the blush I've been liking setting the blush lately with a powder just because I feel like it has more longevity when I do that. So I'm actually taking the Wet n Wild blush in Pinch Me Pink. I really like this. Now this does have a little bit of, mm, yeah, it's a little bit of glitter. It's a little bit of a gold fleck. But again, I think it pairs really nicely with the eyes. And once you put it on, it really fades out. Again, this is more just to set the blush underneath. So it looks really rosy and glittery and shimmery. Now let's apply mascara. I'm going to be applying waterproof mascara to my bottom lash line. Okay, the last thing we have is lips. And to be honest, I have not decided what I'm going to do on the lips yet. So let me figure that out. Okay, so I think I know what I want to do for lips. I feel like you could go two ways with this look. So... I have one theory. I feel like a brown lip would actually go really nicely with this. This is the Bite Beauty Lip Crayon. And I have no idea what this shade is. <laughs> I'll have to link it down below. But actually, let's try it first before I link it. If not, then I have another lip. But we're going to test it out. So first, I'm going to line my lips with the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Pencil in the shade tan i recently got this and i like it actually it's really easy to blend out and move around on the lip and this shade is like mm, it's actually really close to my natural lip shade which is what i enjoy about it because i can kind of create a bigger lip with it um, and it still looks natural because it is my lip shade color but that was my first try this is my first time actually trying out the lip pencils by him and i actually i been enjoying it so I definitely would pick up more I actually like it better than the Charlotte Tilbury formula so if you're wondering I much rather grab these okay so as you see you can't even really tell that it's on me which is kind of nice and now I'm gonna try this lip crayon yeah I think I went the right choice I like this because it's still kind of a bold lip, but it doesn't interfere with the eye look. And it's really creamy, which is really nice. I totally forgot about this too. I like found makeup the other day. I guess it's just makeup that I don't play with clearly. So that was in there and I actually I really like it. So I'm glad that I brought it back out for the season Now to kind of just pull everything together. I'm gonna go in with the makeup by Mario Soul school transforming skin perfecter and I'm kind of gonna just dust this all over my face just to kind of tie everything together Okay, guys, and this is the final look I really like this has definitely been one of my go-to looks just because it's definitely like in the holiday spirit i feel like this is actually a little bit of a softer version than i do if i'm going on the evening i will attempt the darker shades in this palette i'll probably do a makeup look on that soon just a more intense version of this look but i think this is really soft and feminine and still really pretty i think that it's even appropriate for daytime like holiday activities i actually really like it um i and i do and i do like the lip with the two like i said this is the first time trying on this lip with this eye look and i don't think that it takes away i feel like it all kind of goes together really nicely 
let me know what you guys think comment down below tell me what makeup look you guys want to see next i definitely want to keep creating holiday looks like i said during this time i always just feel like the most inspired when it comes to makeup i feel like playing with it a little bit more it's more exciting for me i think the next look i want to do is the classic red lip i always do that every year just because i feel like i change it up a little bit so if you guys want to see that next then please give this video a thumbs up so i know that you guys like it and i will catch you guys in the next video bye